freedom of press, religion, speech, petition, and assembly. Most people in other countries don't have these freedoms, such as Russia. Man, I hate those communist soldiers. I want to lead a protest. And risk getting thrown in jail? No way. Don't even think about it. Life would be so much better if I could just speak to the government. Well, you can't. Those kinds of freedoms are only allowed in America. Life would be so much better if we had that here. Aww. What did we tell you? Morning, officer. I'm not allowed to have that gun. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. The last time, no, you're not. No, take it out and give it to me. According to Amendment 2, I have the right to have this gun with a gun permit. And no one has the right to take it away from me. So thanks to the Second Amendment, we can keep guns and other weapons and no one can take them away from us. Or as the Constitution states, as we have the right to bear arms. cannot search you or your belongings, thanks to the Constitution. We're the police! We're here to search you for drugs. Where's your warrant? We don't have one. Then how can you search my house because you don't have a warrant? Because you have to read the Constitution. Because it's in the name of the law? No? According to the Fifth Amendment, evidence must be presented to a grand jury before the accused goes on trial. I don't think we have enough evidence to take this to trial. I think we do. He goes to tutoring at 3 o'clock to 3.30, and when Miss Woman went to go make a copy of a spelling test, she left, and the nurse were still on her desk, but when she came back, they were gone. Well, still, is there any other more three evidence? Pe three people were in the hall, and they saw him with a jar of nerds. Well, I guess that's a lot of evidence. Jury do you, members, do you think that's enough ed evidence to take it to trial? Yes. yes. We do three eyewitnesses. Three of people saw him. Yes. Amendment five also states that the accused cannot go on trial more than once for the same crime. Castle, please give your closing arguments. Members of the jury, the defendant was clearly seen by three people walking down the hall with his teacher's jar of nerds. We have shown that he was present at the scene of the crime during the exact time the nerds were taken. Please find him guilty of this crime. Members of the jury, my client was indeed present at the scene of the crime, but he did not steal the nerds. There is not enough evidence to prove him guilty, so we are asking that you will find him innocent. Jury members, jury members, please consider the evidence you have shown, been shown today, and please make a decision if he is innocent or guilty. Members of the jury, have you reached your verdict? Yes, we have, Your Honor. Will the defendant please rise? Samuel L. Jackson, you have be, you been found innocent of your crime. Case dismissed. Wait, wait! You have to try this case again. These are found in Samuel's locker. According to the Constitution, you can, the, a criminal cannot be tried for the same crime twice. To Amendment 8, the government cannot inflict cruel and unusual punishments on you. You robbed the banks, and now we're gonna punch you in the stomach until you die! According to Amendment 8, you cannot do this to me! <clears throat> this is cruel and unusual punishment! Why you. Ow! That hurt! Amendment 14 says if you are born in the U.S., you are a U.S. citizen. Google Gaga, I was born in the USA, so that makes me a U.S. citizen. According to Amendment 19, women have the right to vote. This is an outrage. Why can't we vote? Because it's a man's job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you laugh at us? Why, I'll sock you. And get into a fight. Honestly, think with your head, not with your fist. Come on. Well, if it isn't the little voter girls, 
Actually, we are voters now. What? The Congress passed a amendment saying that we can that women can vote now. How do you like them apples, boys? The 18th Amendment prohibited any involvement of alcohol of any kind.